Hi guys and welcome back to Bunnies in the Book, our family kitchen. For today's episode, I have someone joining me in the kitchen. She is renowned, she's a hard worker, she's also from the same place my dad is, Lanes. Um, she has so many things going on, her own dance school and many other things in her life. I want to present to you Vasha. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Anisha. It's a pleasure. I feel like it's getting better and better each time we do it. You know, every time, every experience gives you another step to learn. Definitely. So, for sure. so today I'm going to be learning something new. What are we making today? Today we're making puletcha. It's, um, it's very similar to fed cook, okay. uh, but it's just got an Indian touch to it. And uh, yeah, we can begin as soon as you're ready. Okay, so before we get onto that, I'm just gonna be finishing cutting up these potatoes. I'm not gonna show you the full recipe for the olive fry. You can click over here and it will take you to another video where we've done that. I'm just gonna finish doing this. But while I'm doing this, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. So what do you do? Uh, I've been in the dance industry for about 38 years. Okay. Um, performing arts, I, I would include acting, choreography, and um, a bit of talent management. Okay. So that's really my skills. Um, prior to this, I was in the corporate world, so learned a lot of the business world uh, kind of stuff. And now I've just taken on to performing arts as a full time thing. Nice. Really to follow my dream. I um, like that, that you can do something else and then come back and be like, this is actually what I want to do. Yeah. I think that's just to try a few things and then realize. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just going to put these potatoes in the bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm also then going to be using my trusty Mr. Lava. I use my mom. I'm sure you have your own one at home. I think every Indian home has one. And they're all different. I think everybody has their own like things that they put inside. Exactly. So I'm obviously going to be using this and then I'm going to be using some fresh chili some garlic and you're making aloo fry right? yes aloo fry. it's like uh, every indian home's favorite aloo fry. with dal or with, with roti any, or yeah. even with fletcher we're gonna have oh today. yes we're gonna have it with fletcher it's gonna be <laughs> exciting okay so now that we showed you how to make the aloo fry you're gonna show me how to make the fletcher absolutely Let's so begin. what goes in here okay so you put some of that flour okay not all not all of it leave some for a bit later okay um, so when would you make fillet? Like, fillet just um, goes well with rice, it goes well with sugar beans, it goes well with um, alu fry. <laughs> it goes well with absolutely any curry. It, you can actually eat it on its own as well. Because a lot of, my nephews, they enjoy it so much yeah. that they walk around the house just nibbling on fillet. So it's like a healthier snack as well, instead of just having something that you bought from the store. And I mean, you know nowadays bread. Yeah. Many people avoid bread for <laughs> yeah. health reasons. This is a lovely substitute, I would think. Okay, so we've got our flour. And add some oil in there. Well, all of it. All of That's it. about a tablespoon of oil. Okay. It's very easy, this recipe. Put some cumin in there. Some salt to taste. Okay. Mix that together quickly. So, Tanita, tell me, with your show that you're doing now. Yes. Yeah. It's digital, am I right? Yes. Tell me a little bit about where we're going with the digital world. Um, I think that it's different for each person, but I think that it's moving in a way that we're allowed to tell our story. So instead of people thinking that South Africa is this like little dwarfy where like there's all these lions and stuff, we're allowed to tell our stories and we have control of what's going on. What's nice is that it's going international. Yes. So it's like our story is being told, but it's being told in the way that we want to and it's also being heard from people around the world mm -hmm. like with your dance school people can go visit your website or they could and then they can be like oh that's where i want to be like going to learn how to dance or they could come and visit for a day and like do a tour or we could be an inspiration to someone across the world definitely and i think that's what's fun about it because it's this whole community of like online people and it's almost like we're not separated by all these borders and we don't have all these like conflicts in between us because when you're online, you're part of this huge community. But I've got to say what I love is stories being told. And yeah. that for me is the best part. Definitely. Because a lot of stories are never told. Yes, definitely. I mean, I think of my mom and her struggle, for example. Yeah. No one's going to tell her story. And this is one absolute way. If you can make some of that, this is one absolute way of telling stories and reaching a wider world society okay this is sour milk so you're going to add this in slowly 
Okay. Not all of it because you need to get the, the correct texture. So what should it feel like? Um, it's soft enough to roll out. Soft enough to roll out. But not too hard as well. So, so similar to like a roti dough? Or? Yes. But be careful with sour milk because it's very really deceiving when you're actually making the dough. Okay, so that's... So like that's why you've got to go slowly. Okay. And we'll so do you make this at home? Like often I do. In fact, my friends love it so much that often when I'm visiting them, they yeah, have to take them each other. I think it's like a, a nice it's, snack to have. Instead of a bottle of wine, <laughs> take for each other. Okay, so now that we have our dough, I've just rinsed my other hands really quickly. Um, what do we do next? It becomes a bit of a sticky. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me show you what we're going to do. Break it into equal parts. Okay. And you make it into a ball. Okay. But tap lightly, don't you know with fuleta you just gotta work lightly. Okay. With you it. don't need to yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you sprinkle. Okay. Actually I'm gonna take out some of this. So we'll make three parts of that. Okay. And while you're doing this, we're just heating our oil. Yes. A question I have is if the oil is too hot. What do you do? Do you add more oil in? Do you just leave it? No, I'd rather you just wait for a bit to, for it to cool off. Okay. That would be better. Okay. okay. The, the heat consistency for this, um, with the oil, is, you know when you fry samosas? Have you fried samosas? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. It's, it's like that. It's got to be hot. But once the heat is, um, once the oil is hot, you bring the heat down a bit so that it cooks. Okay, so it's not like splashing yeah. everywhere. And then you would taste by just putting yeah. a little bit of the yeah. dough. Yeah, and then you don't, it doesn't get too brown either. Okay. So I wanted to ask, with your dance walls, obviously you guys teach Indian dances, but what else do you do? Um, we're quite a unique dance academy because we teach classical dance, okay. that's our base. We do Bollywood, we do contemporary, we do hip hop. Lately, we've introduced some ballet and jazz, which is my favorite. That's why it's called Jazzy Masala. Okay, jazz style is my favorite. Picture. And then to find Vasha School, you just want to look down below for all our links. As you're rolling, don't make it too thin like you do rotis, make it slightly thicker. So, obviously, you want to get a bit of plumpness when okay. it fries. Okay, okay, so now we'll cut this because then you can use it for filling. Oh, okay. As well. And is there any shape that you cut it in? Um, I usually try and make diamonds. Okay. <laughs> you can make squares. You can, you can do whatever you like. I mean, you can even use a cutter and make it round. Okay. It just depends. So with your dance school, is it like... At the moment, I'm just going to cut it like this because it's a small piece. Right? Okay, sure. So that's... Um, so with the school, I'm sure lots of people think, okay, Indian dancing, maybe it's just for Indian people. Do you think that... Like obviously in your school, is it like that or is it diverse? No, we're very much diverse Okay, and we've gone cross-cultural. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah. So do you think that's a really like, good thing like in South Africa and Africa as a whole that like we're not just one type of person, we're Absolutely. all mixed. You've got to embrace, you've got to embrace other cultures. Also, otherwise I don't think we're moving forward. Definitely. You know. <laughs> Definitely. So are we ready to rock? Are you ready to try? Yes. Okay. So the oil hot? Do we taste so do I put a little bit of the you can. Yeah. Okay. But I think now we need to put that onto the stove. Okay, let's move the oil. So Tanita, you I believe did some bad enough. Why did you give it up? Um I think it was I was doing it when I was quite young. And growing up in the area that I was, I was the only one that was doing Rice and Martin, and I just, I don't know, I just, I think I found it too difficult and then I just didn't push myself hard enough and I actually regret giving it up because I feel like it's such a beautiful dance and I wish I knew how to do it. Maybe I'll go back and try again. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. Okay, so we're just testing the oil, right? Yes, we're testing the oil to see how oh, that looks good. Okay. okay. We're going to put two at a time or three at a time. So it gives it space to, to fluff up yes. without like sticking to each other. Okay, so with your dancing, do you dance internationally? Um, we haven't danced internationally, but our aim is to travel. Yes. Okay. And the shows that you do are born in Joburg or around all in Johannesburg. Yeah. You know what? We very much deprived of great talent, Indian talent in this country. 
Okay. And uh, there are many platforms for us here, so I think it's best that we create those platforms. Yeah, that's definitely. It's one of my objectives. That's why I have my shows in big theatres, like the Little Theatre yes. or the City, those kind of things. It's, it's about creating yeah, no, opportunity. And I think people think, oh, Bollywood dancing, and they look to like India, when we have great dancers here, and I don't think that we always embrace the people that we have. Involved. No, we embrace the people. The thing is, our community and our people need to start supporting each other. Yes. Yes, local. Local talent needs support. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm complete accurate. So how can we find you if people wanted to? I have a website, Jazzy Masana. Which will link. Yes. Um, otherwise, I'm on Facebook as well, by Shamagin. And I have a Jazzy Masana page as well. So, and you guys do shows once a year? My annual show takes place um, in September, 17th and 18th of September. It's called Dance by Josh, which means really the passion for dance. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. We preparations are underway and yeah, it's hard work, but lots of fun and the achievement at the end of the day is just... And that's open work. to the public to come. Open to anyone. Okay. So are we almost done now? We're almost done. So they fluff up the lot. They fluff up and then you've got to just get it slightly golden brown. Slightly golden brown. Yes. Okay. So don't burn. <laughs> don't burn. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so now that we've fried this and the olive fry is done, I'm just going to put some done here on it. Sure. And then should we try some? Okay. Let's do it. My mouth's watering anyway. Same. I'm <laughs> okay. Cool. So. And then some people stuff them as well. If you can, if you can just cut it open or hold it open like this. And then you can put some in there. That's why you've got to make sure when you're rolling it, it's thick enough that it can be, it can be used in this style. Okay. And also be sure to send us your pictures of how you guys have eaten them using the hashtag bunnies in the world. We're always looking forward to eat to um look at them. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. They're really good. Mm. And it's a very comfort like I like your under the eye. Okay, before we go, do you want to teach me a dance? Okay. Put your hand like this. Okay. Make sure the wrist is up. Is up. And bring it over in other part, Mom. I'm very ahead of you. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and share. All the links will be down below. JT um social media as well as for just dance school and all her social media links will be down there below. We hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.